important topics for cat quant does it exist are there important topics can i look at some few topics and focus on these topics to ensure that i get good scores how do i find answer to that question that's what i'm trying to do in this particular video and what i've done is i looked at papers from cat 2017 till cat 2023 that did a deep analysis i'll share some of the insights and the new decide what's important what's not important i want to answer three questions in this video number one is should we care in the first place is this question even important is it important to know what's important topics for the cat yeah number two is if we care how do we even decide what is important but what does the word important mean important for what important for us to get more scores but if that is the case how do i decide what's important because cat 2024 is in the future nobody knows what what what, what topics they're going to uh, uh, going to come in the particular paper we don't know we have some past papers we have the history we can probably look at a history and figure out what is important but we still have to decide what is important even mean and with all that we still have to answer the question what does the future hold what is likely going to happen cat 2024 okay let's start with should we care of course you care because you want to get a pretty high percentile rank in the cat and which means that you want to get high percentile rank in each of the three sections so therefore you have you need a particular score to get that percentile now this is cat 2021 2022 2023 of the qa section just the qa section not the overall cat this is a story of 2021 a 70th percentile is 9 marks which is like three three questions going all the way uh, till 99.5 percentile which is 40 marks roughly about 13 questions the total number of questions available is 22 the total marks is available is 66 now these are scale score individually each score of the slot may have up, up and down with respect to level of difficulty slight variation so but this is a scale score but this will give us uh, some perspective that is cat 2021 story cat 2022 is was by and large the same very very similar level of difficulty by and large the same then you have cat 2023 poof what one of the reasons to why the cat 2023 uh, 99 percentile score was 75 overall is largely because of this uh, qa section okay but we don't we we'll looking at this we don't know what's going to happen in cat 2024 but the good news it doesn't matter if it's difficult for me it's going to be difficult for all if it's going to be easy for me it's going to be easy for all at the end of the day it's a relative test we really don't care but we have to care to the extent how many questions should i get correct now since each question carry 3 marks we can look at this these are number of questions right So if you want to hit about 99 percentile and looking at the last 3 years trend we are looking at about 9 to 11 questions net correct about 10 questions there about it could be 11 it could be 9 around that range right 10 questions 10 questions out of 22 questions which means i can actually skip 12 questions i can skip 12 questions that's what i'm thinking the reason why you click this particular video is really about knowing this Well, that's that's what my feeling is you really want to know can i skip some topics you started learning logarithms you went with your but the what is that is going on you're asking sir is this topic really important for cat can i leave this topic sir should i study permutations combination can i skip it i never understood permutation combination i don't know four people have to be arranged in uh, four different uh, places where person number 1 wants to sit next to uh, person number 3 and person number 2 just don't care i don't know what to do sir this kind of question this is really your question okay so let's decide what's important one simple way to decide what's important just to uh, just look at the past and 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 decide on this uh, chart there is arithmetic there is algebra there is geometry there is numbers and modern maths lot of arithmetic questions algebra reasonably good number of questions then geometry and little bit of numbers little bit of modern maths this is what is happening so for example this is too much data let's look at the last 3 year story oh there you go right So you might have a different uh, uh, sort of distribution uh, in in sort of some of the data that you see. It's about how you decide which chapter falls in 
which area for example somebody would say something like functions would be a modern maths chapter i would probably think that function is more algebra somebody might decide coordinate geometry is really algebra not really geometry i have put it under uh, geometry so there could be slight variations here but more or less this is the story that we see so in 21 and 22 the 99 percentile was about 11 question where is it falling oh i don't have to touch numbers i don't have to touch geometry i don't have to touch bottom math if i can solve all the arithmetic questions and a little bit of algebra life will be good what is the story in 2023 that's the story in 2023 and you're probably thinking this uh, this is a good idea and i'm guessing you're doing this and i'm guessing you're focusing a lot on arithmetic and maybe in algebra, I'm guessing you are not putting too much effort in some other topics. I'm guessing this is happening. This is my guess. Now the question is, are there risks in this? You are leaving something out, but are there risks in this? So let's have a look. I want to talk about three things. And I want to say there is a risk in this. And let me tell you why there is a risk in this. Let's start with the first one right and before you get there uh just want to tell you that if you are if you are in this category looking at the the this data and going i can do this i can let's look at arithmetic and a little bit of algebra and chuck all this if you want just listen to me okay listen to me okay here it goes number one let's assume this is a paper Arithmetic 8, Algebra 6 question, Geometry 5, Numbers 1, Modern Maths 2. And technically speaking, you look at this and say, okay, there are 8 questions of arithmetic. Arithmetic is important. Amazing. Numbers and modern maths is not that important for the cat. That is probably what you're thinking. But you have to understand that you have to solve these questions. Now, just because I know the concept does not mean I can solve every single question because there could be inherent difficulty level in each of these questions by design. There could be an e easy question designed with basic concept. There could be a medium question designed with a little bit of application of that basic concept. There could be hard question which requires not just well, two levels, three levels of thinking, probably understanding too many data is given. There could be these. And what if, what if the cat that you're going to take is like this? And you decided, I'm going to just focus on arithmetic and algebra. What's going to happen? You know what's going to happen in the examination, which is probably what is happening in all your mock tests as well. You are still sitting and solving arithmetic questions only. What is happening? There are these four hard questions, four difficult questions. Each question is taking uh, six minutes. 24 minutes you are spending just in these four questions and maybe you're getting the marks maybe you're not getting the marks maybe you're making mistakes you're getting frustrated while there are easy questions of geometry sitting there maybe easy question of numbers sitting there maybe easy question of modern math sitting there which if you knew the very basic concepts you could have handled it that is risk number one you miss easy questions if you skip now the second thing is what does hard mean but even that a question is inherently hard i can still do something with with whatever is a basic knowledge that i have can i apply that basic knowledge and deal with those, those questions can i do jugard right for instance let's look at this question of cat 2023 slot number three now if you you could probably pause the video and try and solve it or the well, up to you right i'm guessing that you're looking at the question and going <laughs> but I'm this looks very hard x is a positive real number such that x to the power of 8 plus 1 by x to the power of 8 equal to 47 then the value of x to the power of 9 plus 1 by x to the power of 9 is and there are four options every single option has got square root of 5 you might be thinking where is root 5 coming from where gets what is where is oh my god <laughs> i can't solve this question and you may skip this question. But what if? We'll do a little bit of jugad. I mean, we are asked x to the power of 8 plus 1 by x to the power of 8 is 47. There are two components, x to the power of 8. Other component is 1 divided by x to the power of 8. Now, x to the power of 8 is going to be a significant quantity. 
1 by x to the power of 8 will be a very minuscule quantity. You can probably imagine, let's just imagine 2 to, 2 to the power of 8. Now 2 to the power of 8 is how much? 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256. Yeah, 256. 2 to the power of 8 is 256. What is 1 by 2 to the power of 8? That is 1 by 256. So 2 to the power of 8 plus 1 by 2 to the power of 8 will be 256 plus 1 divided by 256. 1 divided by 256 is 0.0 something, no? So it will be net similar, to, it will be very close to 256 only, no? Point that I'm saying is x to the power of 8 plus 1 by x to the power of 8 equal to 46 can be approximated to x to the power of 8 is approximately equal to 46. We have ignored 1 by x to the power of 8. That's a logical thing to do. Now, what therefore, what is x? 1 by 8. 48 to the power 1 by 8. What is 1 by 8? Square root, square root, square root, square root. Four times you have to take square root. You can use the calculator on the screen and do this and you'll get the value of x to be 1.62. Now, what is, what is that we have to find out? We have to find out x to the power of 9 plus 1 by x to the power of 9. With the same logic, I can approximate that to x to the power of 9. Because we believe that 1 by x to the power of 9 is going to be a very small quantity as compared to x to the power of 9. It's approximately x to the power of 9. When we do that, what is x to the power of 9? Is x to the power of 8 times x. So, we know x to the power of 8 is 47. x is 1.62. 47 times 1.62 is 76. Answer should be very close to 76. Now, but we have square root of 5, but we can just use our online calculator to find, find out that square root of 5 is 2.23. So, then it's a simple multiplication. 40 multiplied by 2.23 is 89. Too big. 36 multiplied by uh, 2.23 is 81. 30 multiplied by 2.23 is 67. 34 multiplied by 2.23 is, is, is 76. There you go. Now, even if there are hard questions, I can still do Jugard. Now, in fact, if you if you take CDCs, the Countdown Cat Mocks of Career Launcher, GP, Gautam Puri, he records this Jugard video for every single mocks. Hmm. The CDC Pro Mocks. Okay. So, you could learn from that. He's got a channel, GP Kafanda. You can check that channel out. Uh, GP Kafanda, just Google, uh, just not, not Google, just type search GP Kafanda. He's put in a lot of these kind of jugart in the channel. Just check it out. You can learn from him as well. The point is, the second thing is, why do we skip even, why do we even skip questions? Why? I mean, there could be ways and other method in which I can still answer questions. That is number two. Number three is, there are chapters hiding within each of these area. Now, the way in which I have defined this chapter could be slightly different from what you find in some books, but that's okay. So, all these chapters, probably about 30 chapters, algebra some chapters, geometry has chapters, numbers of chapters, modern maths of chapters. What if, instead of looking at the area, can we just find out how many questions have come from each of these chapter in each of the CAD from 2017 till 2023? Yes, you can find out. I have found that out. It took a little, 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 little effort, but I put that effort for you. In some of these cases, now there are certain questions which has got overlapping concepts. So there is concept of one chapter and another chapter combining two that to answer. So I'll have to pick one. I'll have to allot that to sort of one chapter. So so about 20-25% of the questions are like that. So there are these combinations of sort of kind of two chapters. I, I just allotted to one chapter based on some logic that I use. Okay, so this may not be absolutely scientific, but come chill out. Okay. So this is a graph. Oh you might be looking what is what is going on I mean nothing is going on this is like all the chapters put together it's colorful now this is not giving me too much of uh, 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 per data but what I can also do is what if we take a chapter let's say we take averages and count the number of questions that have come from that particular chapter from 2017 slot 1 till 2023 slot 3 how many questions Cat 2017, okay, I had one question here, one question. Let's count. In historically, from 2017 onwards till 2023, how many questions have come from these individual chapters? And let's put that in descending order. That will probably give us some idea in terms of whether arithmetic still rules or something else rules. And this is a story. Oh, oh, 
Oh, who is number one? Who is number one? Logarithms and exponents. Number one. I'm sure you skipped that chapter. 38, 9 question. More than some of the other chapters in arithmetic. Now, if you, if you want, don't want to look at the table like this, this is the chart. Now, if you actually look at simple interest components, probably the third from bottom, the number of questions so far that the vast is about 12. A permutation combination had more number of questions than simple interest components. Yes, so far. Uh, chapter wise, we look at this. Now, within permutation combination, you might say that, sir, there are multiple chapters. Oh, <laughs> you, could, you could say all that the point that I'm saying is that the story of CAT is about arithmetic may not be the right story. And, and you might even say that, okay, I'm just going to focus on this chapter, which may be also be, which may be risky because we still don't know what they're going to do in 2024. Therefore, what does the future hold? The best way to answer that question is, we don't know. But what we know is, Two things is what is going to give me my scores. Number one, the questions that I can do. The question which is either on basic concepts or applies the basic concept to a reasonable extent. In all likelihood, the hard question is something that I'm going to skip in the actual exam. I may be solving hard question while preparation because that will help me improve my learning. But execution in the examination would we might be skipping the hard questions. Now, the hard question can also be very personal, right? If you're very good in arithmetic or let's say algebra, you might find some hard question easy for you. So these are kind of very, uh, also very personal, but there are three things that I like to say. Number one, let's not skip anything. Let's not skip. At the end of the day, we have to answer easy questions. We don't know where that is going to come from. Let's not skip. Let's get our basic concepts in place of all the areas, basic concepts. What is about 30 chapters? Now for basic concepts and reasonable concepts, what we have to spend what three hours per chapter on an average, that's about 90 hours. If I decide to spend about one hour per day on, 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 on these, that's about 90 days, about, what, about three, three months. If you, if you can push a little harder, you can do it in about 60 days. It's, it's not difficult. And third is you we have to learn to apply Jugaad. Now Jugaad is not shortcuts. It's maths is shortcuts. Pythagoras, Pythagoras theorem is a shortcut. Multiplication is a shortcut for addition. Math is shortcut. Jugaad is, I know these concepts. This is the knowledge that I have. Can I use the knowledge that I have and apply that to question that I see? by either eliminating or changing the question or identifying pattern can we do this so that you, you, you the best place to learn it is actually in the mocks so whether you have finished the syllabus or not finished the syllabus i think that you should take the mocks you should do these things keep things very very simple and don't assume that cat is about arithmetic that's all goodbye